Next, we're in Charleston, West Virginia, for a pretrial hearing. Henry T. Eldon. Henry T. Eldon. Henry T. Eldon. Henry T. Eldon is in the courtroom but he is refusing the magistrate's order to come forward to the defendant's table. I have called him thrice. I have uh, no response. The, the, Get up here in this seat the, right now. That's right. The judge called him thrice. Eldon is facing multiple charges, including fraudulent official proceedings and fraudulent service of indebtedness related to falsely filing claims with the court. Today, he's joined in the courtroom by a friend who's recording the proceedings on his cell phone and getting involved himself. I'm a witness, okay? Okay, what I'm saying is he is present, and he's chosen not to step up there. He's asking not for a appointed lawyer. He doesn't need an attorney. So you're acting in the capacity I'm not lawyer? acting. I'm a witness. You're this witness. is American National. American National. American National is another nod to the sovereign citizen movement that both he and the defendant identify with. Eventually, Eldon does respond to the magistrate, Ward Harshbarger, but still refuses to come forward. The court reporter has to be established before yes. anything can proceed. Well, OK, well, get up in your seat now, and we will oh, wait for that. We have some preliminary thing. We're all waiting for the court reporter to be... Do it now. All right, this is State versus Henry T. Elton Jr. Mr. Elton, I need to have a seat at the defendant's table. For the record, Shut I'm a witness. Shut up and sit down. You sit down and not say another word. Seemingly getting more aggravated, the magistrate turns to his courtroom deputy for assistance. Would you get Mr. Eldon? Can you show me where the seat is, please? May I have permission? You may have a seat right there. Go ahead. You may have a seat right there. Eldon finally gets up to the stand before the judge, but it won't be for long. You are going to be held in contempt. All right, Mr. Eldon, can you just stand up for me, please? Turn around and place your hands behind your back, if you would. And who are you? And do you have a warrant, a signed warrant? I do not have a warrant. I've just been made aware by the judge that he wants me to take you into custody for obstructing judicial process, OK? But before the magistrate had the defendant arrested and cuffed, he pulls a final move out of every parent's playbook and counts to three. One. Have a seat. <laughs> Two. Have a seat, please. I would like to speak, to, and I have information to present. I don't know how I'm instructing. I, I, Last I, warning. You won't come Get in the seat, and we'll you. proceed. Again, locked in a stalemate, the magistrate decides to just get down to business. How do you plead? I would like to um, see your oath of office. I'd like to see your uh, letter accepting and acknowledging your office. And I would like to see the same for the uh, prosecuting attorney and to know the names of everyone in this room. I need that before I understand what's going on, sir. So the answer, and I will answer for him, is not guilty. Okay. I haven't made any plea, nor should you make All any plea. Right. I don't accept that. Okay. I don't accept well, anything that's happened to you today. Accept I did Mr. not in your own position. Score him out. Right. Of course, sir. The court wouldn't confirm the details, but according to Eldon, he did not appear for his next court hearing and was arrested on a bench warrant and served two weeks in jail. He also says the original fraudulent service and fraudulent official proceedings charges against him were later dropped. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.